There's the real estate office that Sarah's suggesting anyone can walk into. So, but unfortunately, that's discriminatory. So we've got a rise here. From there, and it's right about Right about one foot. So that means we need 12 feet of length. So, let's see how many feet we have. We have 25 feet. So, we've got to get 12 feet. We get up here, and then we have another to get her off. And it's another. It's another uh, five and a half inches. So we've got 17 and a half feet, but we need a switch back. So we've got 25 feet. And we need 17 and a half feet. For every switchback, we need a five foot area. So 17 plus five is 23. So we have more than enough room. So literally you could start the ramp right here. And we really could start the ramp. The ramp could come in here, come straight in, right? And ramp up a little bit, turn. And then you could ramp up right here to locate these bushes and turn and ramp right up, right? And then you'd be fine. And then right before, so you need five and a half feet. So it can be flat. You could use the deck here. And right at this column, you have five and a half inches, you need five and a half feet. So five and a half feet. There's five feet. There's six feet. So Basically, right here, you would start another ramp right here, and then ramp up for a door. So again, ramp coming in from the street, turn the ramp, go right by here, everyone can walk up it, just like the post office, the post office too steep, come here, the ramp would turn, the ramp would turn here, you'd run on the slate, no problem with here, although there should be a ramp um, here. This one, get into the real estate office, okay? And then the ramp would start here, here, and run into the real estate office. You could also put a ramp here. This is the same five and a half inches. So, again, five and a half feet. That ramp would have to come out to here. So the best thing to do is to run on the slate, come up here, run the slate, have a ramp that goes up here and turns, and then have a ramp, you know, that would make it so the real estate office was accessible. And that office, if we then inside, made sure that was also accessible. The other issue is the door needs to be able to open with less than five pounds of pull um, so, that, so that that works. Uh, out here, this, these ADA spaces don't qualify because there's no sign. It has to be a sign marking each space that's at least five feet so people can see over the accessible van dashboard. So they've got to be eight feet wide. Let's see if they're eight feet wide. And what's the <laughs> They're not quite eight feet wide. They're close enough, and it has to be five feet wide. And that is five feet wide. So the problem is right here, there has to be a sign. And that sign has to be, the bottom of it has to be five feet tall. So someone can see over, and it has to be on both sides. So someone can see where they're stopping over an accessible van. So 
That's what they need to do. Because you have more than four spaces. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. If you have 35 space here alone, you probably have another 30 spaces, 35 spaces around the back. So you absolutely need this. Um, and again, the ramp um, on the post office is illegal um, because it's too steep. Um, the distance you have, again, this is supposed to be at least four feet wide. It's four and a half feet wide. It should be five feet wide, but minimum of four. This distance is measured here is 32 inches, but measured from here, which is really the height, it's more like 34 inches. So that means this ramp needs to be 34 feet. So, <clears throat> So this ramp is 17 feet before it hits a flat spot. This comes down 14 inches. So this is this is six foot seven, six foot eight. So 80. So this is 80 inches. Okay, so six feet. So this is 14 inches coming down six feet, right? So 14 inches needs 14 feet to come down. So that ramp is too steep to, to get there. And of course, you've got again this. It's four feet wide, four and a half feet wide, and four feet, three inches wide. And minimum of four should be five. Again, men's and women's room. Too steep to get up. No grab bars. Plenty of room. Could make it, but no grab bars. And this is seven inches, six and a uh, half, that's seven, seven inches, six and a half inches up on that lip. So there's plenty of room to do it. They just choose not to do it. No access there. That's a little under seven inches. That's seven inches. Seven inches. Seven inches. Seven inches. So one, two, three, four, five. Five times seven inches at bottom one, six inches, but five times seven is 35. It's 34 inches. I mean, it's very simple. Simple math. Every inch of your eyes, you need a foot of run. The ADA. 18 and seven. Is 24, not 34. It's got to be 34. So it raises up with mulch. So it's 34. That's where it has to go up. And again, you can just see that that's way too steep. Uh, I mean, right there to the top of that is 32 inches. And they've got easily three inches of mulch, so 35 inches to the ground. It's 30, 34 inches. So it's got to be 34 feet. 
plus. So it's got to be 17 plus 7 is 24. Plus that 5 foot area needs to be flat. And let's see if that 5 foot is even a 5 foot area. Five foot clear, so it only starts about five inches. So it's five feet less than five inches. It's taken off by the railing. Um, so it's not five feet. And again, it's going to be five foot clear. And here is five ten. So that works on that side. Lengthwise, it works. Widthwise, it doesn't work. It's not five feet. So instead of this being 24, it's got to be 34. You can just see how steep it is. Um, that's that's, a, that's a too fast ride down. Um, this area down here is easily five feet. So again, this flat spot is fine. This ramp needs to be 10 feet longer. 17 and just under seven. So 24 with five foot area. Five foot area doesn't count for the slope. So this needs to be 10 feet longer. You need code. Of course, this has got to be less than five pounds of pull. That's about, that's about 20 pounds of pull. 